the philosophy of the teachings of Islam. On the invitation of Swami Sadhu Shugan Chandra to all the religions to set forth the excellences of their respective faiths, Hazrat Mirza Khulam Ahmad of Qadian, the promised Messiah and the founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, wrote a paper titled, The Philosophy of the Teachings of Islam. This was read at the Conference of Great Religions, held on December the 26th to the 29th, 1896. The speakers were required to address five questions published in advance by the organizers, with the condition that they would confine their responses to their holy scriptures. The questions were, 1. The physical, moral and spiritual states of man. 2. What is the state of man after death, that is, the hereafter? 3. What is the true purpose of man's existence on earth, and how can it be achieved? 4. What are the effects of one's deeds in his life and the afterlife? 5. What are the sources of divine knowledge? The answers to the above questions are as pertinent today to the seekers of truth as they were a hundred years ago. After receiving prophetic revelation from God on the 21st of December 1896, a few days before the conference, the founder of the Ahmadiyya movement publicly declared that his essay would be the most overpowering one. The promised Messiah, may peace be upon him, wrote, in the conference of great religions, which will be held in Lahore Town Hall on the 26th, 27th and 28th of December 1896, a paper written by this humble one, dealing with the excellences and miracles of the Holy Quran, will be read out. This paper is not the result of ordinary human effort, but is a sign among signs of God, written with his special support. It sets forth the beauties and truths of the Holy Quran and establishes like the noonday sun that the Holy Quran is in truth God's own word and is a book revealed by the Lord of all creation. Words cannot describe the atmosphere of the conference when Malvi Abdul Karim Sialkoti delivered the lecture. Every person, regardless of religion, could not help but show his appreciation and admiration. It could not be completed in the two hours allocated to it, so the conference had to be extended for an extra day. After the conference, the national newspapers expressed their opinions and overwhelmingly praised the paper by the promised Messiah, may peace be upon him, as was foretold in a revelation earlier. Excerpts from a couple of newspapers are Civil and Military Gazette, Lahore. The participants at the conference showed great interest in the lecture of Mirza Khulam Ahmad of Qadian. His paper was an expert and flawless defense of Islam. Chordvin Sadi Rol Pindi, 1st of February 1897. By far the best lecture at the conference was the one written by Mirza Khulam Ahmad. In the hundred years that have followed, the book has been translated in more than 50 languages. The beauty of the paper is that it does not attack any religion. It only explains the beauty and the merits of Islam. All the questions are answered with reference to the Holy Quran in a manner which proves the perfection of Islam and its superiority over all other religions. Anwar ka dariya nikla